Hi there. So you want to know what dependency injection is and how you can use it in your Delphi program. Um, I have here a small demo to show you what you can do with dependency injection and how to use interfaces to help you implement this in your classes. Um, I have set up two classes right here. Uh, one, the language tools class with two procedures, check grammar and uh, translate. And I found my main class, which is the T word app, uh, just with a constructor create. And in this constructor, we just create the T language tools class uh, and use it. So as you can see right now, uh, in this basic example, we have very tightly coupled codes. So we have the T word app, which can't compile unless you also have the T language tools class um, in your project. Now, normally you would do this or you would have this in a different file. Uh, but in this example, I, I've included this just in one file. But as you can see right here, um, it is very tightly coupled. So you need to have a T language tools uh, class in here. You can't extend it anymore because it uses directly this class. So to improve it and to use dependency injection, uh, I have another example um, where we basically have the two, uh, the same two classes, uh, the T language tools and the T word app. The only thing we changed in here is that we inject our dependency. So we inject an instance of the T language tools class right here. Uh, we assign it to a private um, and we uh, use a function basically. So the biggest improvement right now is that we don't create the T language tools within the constructor of our, our class but we inject it. And the biggest benefit of that is that you can use a different T language tools, for example, or derived class from this, or create it on another way, or whatever you want, you can pass you can just pass in the or inject the the instance of it and you can use it. And that means we have loosened up the coupling a bit. But we can still improve this much uh, better. Um, and to show you that, I've uh, here a third example where we still have the same two classes. So we have the T language tools class, we have the T word app. Uh, but now, instead of injecting a whole class, we inject just the functions basically or the interface we need. So as you can see right here, we have two interfaces right now with the, the interface check grammar, uh, grammar checker, and the interface translator. Uh, so our T language tools class now consists of these two interfaces, but, and that's the biggest change, in our constructor we only inject the functionality we need. Um, so basically what we do right here is we program against interfaces and not in implementations. And using it like this, you can use, if you want, a completely different class for uh, this translate function, if you will, as long as we um, implement in this completely different class, the interface translator. So now we are not dependent anymore of the T language tools class. You can just use any other class as long as uh, it supports the, three, the, the, the interface translator. So in this way, you, you inject um, just the interface you don't use the T language tools anymore. And right now we have completely loose, a loose coupling between these two because you can just compile the T word app without compiling the T language tools as long as both know the interface translator. So this is just a very brief example of what you can do with dependency injection uh, and with interfaces. Um, but if you do this, throughout your development in, in, uh, in Delphi, it will hugely improve your, the quality of your code and the flexibility of your code. Uh, because now you can easily reuse any of these classes much better than when you have this tightly coupled code. So that's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, um, just send me an email. Um, and if not, well, thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye.